Okay. Yeah, it says offline. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just go ahead. Play. It's already live, so. Okay. The crazy winds that kicked out. Nothing has happened. We, me and JoJo saw the screen the whole time. OPS kicked him off. see the deep ball all the way to who none of Dusty Brooks has appeared very late in the game, and I appreciate this, man. Yep. 11 tackles for Loki. Loki's got to cover that better. Loki, that's your side of the field. Don't let that happen again because someone's going to get mad like your head coach. We see them come out with the shotgun formation. Run up for the left side, A gap. Sorry, apologize for the B gap. Uh, Milton's, Milton's on fire right now, and I disrespected that quarterback being a running back, but they need to officially change him from quarterback to running back. Three attempts, three touchdowns. I think we're going to know what the answer is going to be here. As you see, moving the offset pistol running back to the right side for a. Was that a Bobby Boucher? Oh my god, that is incredible. That was uh, something very alarming. I thought that it was going to actually be a, uh, a world route to the running back, but Bobby is amped up on that sideline right now. And it's now 34 30, and once again, TCU's got a score with a minute 48 to go. Uh, they did it last time. I, you know, I know it wasn't much, but I wouldn't. We got all three timeouts. And, okay. Uh, for those that don't know, Beard OBS kicked him out. He paused the game so that nothing nothing more moved. Me and JoJo could still see the stream, but it kicked him out. Once it came back up, then he resumed the game. Nothing happened. This is still, you know, the same game, and nothing crazy happened. But as soon as he unpaused it, then UCF had a big play. So Literally nothing. But as we see him step back for the uh, completion on that comeback Incomplete. route, nothing. Justin Duke's going to have to settle down here. There, Lawless is uh, taking over this defensive game right now in that back uh, on that uh, corner half. As he steps back, so he's going to check down. And this is what happens when you have to. Uh, you're going you're, you're, you're to let everything underneath. Exodus, I understand. And then now they're up. I, I can see everything. So yeah, nothing, nothing crazy happened. You see the play the left. That should have been a pick. But there was nothing that happened. I have nothing to lie for. I have no money on this game. Trust me, if he was going to pause it, UCF wouldn't, wouldn't have went up. Yeah. <laughs> you see the big shotgun here, looking down the field, going through all his progressions. The defensive line was coming in. He had to be checked out for no completion. Did he catch that? I, I couldn't see. No. He did not catch that. Okay, I didn't think so. For time-wise, that's probably the better play there. I agree. I agree. Brings up third and ten for TCU. They're going to come out four wide. Prime in the backfield. Duke is looking. Oh, and he was airing it out, but he's going to be stacked. Style Stern. That Style Stern literally has made three plays, and every play he's made has been as big as it should have been. So, sorry for saying you have been obsolete this game. You have been an X factor at the end of this game. Fourth and 16, we're gonna have to see something crazy happen here. But they do have three timeouts, so. Duke's gonna run it, and he's not gonna get anywhere. He's gonna pick up three. If three timeouts, if they go home to a field goal or home to a punt, I, I know I'm crazy, but things can happen. 51 seconds, three timeouts for TCU. Here. Second and six. Playing zone in, in this type of area, I'm very confused. But, uh, and that's the ball game. The game here. Uh, again, this is great to see UCF uh, come off of this. This is a huge win for them. This is something that's going to staple them going into UTSA next week. Um, I don't know how much Especially I Especially after being down 14 nothing. Yeah, being, I mean, being down the first half, essentially, for the most part. Um, you know, they're home against UTSA. That's going to be huge. I, I'm, a, I'm a very underdog guy, so, you know, TCU definitely 
held their ground here tonight, but uh, UCF just was the better man. And I don't know if anybody in the chat said anything about a 14 0 curse, but I know the announcers didn't. I did not. I don't believe so. Okay, it was said, but it wasn't by me, so it wasn't a commentator curse. But that's going to do it. UCF comes away with the upset 34 30 over number seven TCU. Aaron Ike, the player of the game. Um, any final thoughts on this game? I mean, th this is something maybe humbling for TCU going into this, probably thinking they were going to be winning this, and they were. But uh, UCF showed up, and they made them shut up, and next week they play UTSA. I mean, I'd have that marked on my schedule all day. That's going to do it for us for game one. Game two, the UCFL game of the week is next. UTSA at Arizona State. Stay tuned for that. It'll be on in about five or ten minutes. That's going to do it for Canes and JoJo. Y'all stay elite. Later, bro.